would you assess your team's performance tonight? Uh, I could assess it with, I think it was always going to be a difficult night for us. Um, we managed the game, we tried to manage it in blocks, and we got nearly to the second block. And we conceded a goal, you know, once we conceded, conceded the goal, we were looking to try and keep it tight until half time. And hopefully for us to create an opportunity and, uh, you know, nick a goal. We, we know that we're up against quality opposition. So it's disappointing for us to let in a goal right before half time. Uh, we come out after half time and start reasonably well and make another mistake and get punished for it. So at this level, we've been punished for the mistakes that we've been making. And, um, you know, that's a learning curve for our team. Um, large spells of the game, I thought we done okay. You know, we knew that uh, Mexico was going to have a lot of possession of the ball. And we nearly got to that stage where we were starting to frustrate them. But they scored their goals at the right time. Like Carl Steve White Brook said, was it a little frustrating the second goal that you down to 10 men and John Harvey was off the pitch trying to get back on? What was your take on that that, that moment in play? Um, yeah, we're disappointed with the goal that we give up. I think we still have enough players on the pitch to deal with that, so I'm not going to use that as an excuse. Um, you know, that's part of the game. We didn't deal with the first ball and we didn't deal with the second ball and, and they punished the us, you know, but it, it's the timing of it that really, really, uh, like, makes me feel a little bit more upset about it. It's just the timing of it. Earl Benson, Island Stats. Kyle, what do you take from this game and looking forward to Tuesday night's game? I take from this game, um, where we can measure ourselves and look. We're playing against number 12 team in the world. You know, um, yes, they may not have older top, top players, but that's Mexico. That's the team that they put out tonight. And um, we could take heart from it. We managed to score another goal. <laughs> you know, so our, our scoring goals and games continue on. Um, so we have to take a positive out of it. And, you know, we, we when I look, at first it was a team like Haiti that we were trying to get to that level. I think we're sort of on Haiti's level. Now, can we make the next curve and get to a new level? That, that's what it's about. I like the way they keep the ball, I like the way they play. We want to play like that, similar to that, but it's difficult when you come up against someone that's used to doing that. I mean, I watched them play against Argentina, and they had more more of the ball and lost four 0 to Argentina. So it's you know, it's a learning curve. Okay. I was impressed tonight with Bailey's performance. Again, played like a player who perhaps should playing at a high level. Yeah, well, we all know Dale should be playing at a higher level. Um, it's just unfortunate that it's not. That's that's the way it goes for. For players, it's all about taking the opportunity. He had the opportunity, and it, you know, sort of slipped away from him. Um, and I also thought Dante Bangman had a very good game tonight as well. At right back, you and the coach, um, how did you feel about the handball penalty call with the new rule being in place? Yeah, it's it's something that we have to just accept because it's going to happen for us one day and um, you know fortunately for us uh, they hit the upright and you know it didn't result in a goal so we have to accept that and we move on